the Lord Jehovah, the Lord Jehovah Elohim, the Lord Jehovah Adonai, Jehovah Eli, Jehovah Hamelech, the great king of righteousness, Jehovah Hashafet, the eternal judge, he is the judge, Jehovah El Olam, Jehovah Elion, Jehovah Hoseinu, Jehovah Rofe, Jehovah Eloheka, Jehovah Hoseinu, Jehovah Shalom, Sabaoth, the Lord, the God of Israel, he has spoken with me today, and uh, he has spoken to me about some events that are going to happen on the earth, also the coming of the Messiah. Well, the Lord took me to the nation of Nigeria, and he showed me the condition of the church in Nigeria. And at uh, that place, I see this pastor. Let me describe the details. I was in Nigeria today, and he took me quite across many, many churches in Nigeria, a lot of churches in Nigeria, many churches. Nigeria needs to repent before the wrath of God is unleashed upon Nigeria. So when the Lord took me to many, many churches in Nigeria, there's this particular event. This pastor, he preaches, and then he leaves the church with one of the girls that he has been seducing in sexual immorality. And then uh, she comes all the way to his house. And then she enters the house, and they close, they close the door. But the curtains remained open. They, they, they were not aware. It was nighttime now. They were not aware the sections of the curtain were empty and the light on. They put light on inside. But then the members of the churches followed them. They followed the pastor and this girl. And so I see every detail. I, I see the, the sexual sin. Every, I, the Lord takes me into his house, in bed, his bedroom. So I see the detail. But then outside... Outside, the, the members of the church follow. And then a situation arises, so he jumps out. He has been caught red-handed. He jumps out and he says, no, we were just joking. We were joking. And then they go to a place that I see a lot of students seated there. He was supposed to be preaching there. But now I see a lot of students in uniform. They're wearing this light green, uh, light green uh, pair of shorts. And uh, the upper one is checked green and white. Uh, they're sitting there. A lot of students are sitting there, and he's supposed to preach there. So he's wondering, and the Lord makes me understand in his mind what how the panic he's going through. He's wondering how is he going to explain this. The church has caught him red-handed in sexual sin. I have so much detail I don't share with you here about the entire event. And so out of that, the Lord takes me to many other churches and shows me how sexual immorality is right. Is absolutely rife in the church in Nigeria. Sexual immorality and the love of money, the falsehood, the lies, the witchcraft. The church in Nigeria appears to be much more rotten than all the churches on the earth because I see quite a tremendous rot of deception, false prophets, false apostles, false prophecies, falsehood, money finding and laundering and what and everything in the church. And then there is this sexual immorality, abhorrible sexual immorality. And then the Lord, he asked me to lift up my left prophetic hand and pass judgment on that land of Nigeria, owing and courtesy to the fall of the pulpit, the fall of the pastors, the heedlessness of the clergy, the priesthood. And when I did as commanded, then I saw a historic earthquake hit Nigeria, the type that hit Mexico, the type that shake, shake, shake very, 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 very violently, very, very violently for a very long time, very violently, the greatest unleashing of the wrath of God the Father, like the earthquake that I brought upon Mexico when the Lord sent me to rebuke Mexico, to repent from Catholicism and receive Jesus and stop the idol worship of Maria, Mary. I see the same kind of earthquake because it was shaking the way the television stations in Mexico recorded the earthquake in Mexico City where the land was vibrating and shaking for a very long time. That is the way the Lord showed.
showed me the land in Nigeria is going to shake when the wrath of God is released on this day. And so I release the wrath of God Almighty, Jehovah, the God of Israel, upon the land of Nigeria to compel the church to repent. If they repent, the Lord will bring remission to them. I see a tremendous earthquake that will now hit. It's a very shocking earthquake coming to the earth. It's a historic earthquake coming to the earth. And the Lord is asking for repentance, that they may repent and prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. Christ Jesus, the Messiah, is coming. This is the one about whom the Bible wrote, that I'll send you my messenger in the book of Malachi. When the Lord wrote and he said, the Lord God said, I will send you my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way before the great and dreadful day of the Lord. When God the Father promised Christ the Messiah that will send him his messenger to prepare the nations, this is the one about whom the scriptures wrote that a voice of one calling out in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the wilderness a highway for our God, Bring down the, down the mountains in your hearts, the mountains that have impeded your worship, blocked your worship of Christ Jesus and the Lord Jehovah. This is the one about whom the scriptures wrote, that in these last days he would send a messenger, the dreadful servant that will prepare the way for the glorious Messiah, Christ Jesus the Lord. As in the Lord spoken with the nations of the earth today, Shalom, Toda, 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 Averim, Toda Lachem, Toda Rabah, Erev Tov. 